All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of uh, the face here um, before we can mirror it over. So let's take a look. We have this far uh, in our drawing. All we have to worry about now is from here all the way to here, right? So first we're gonna go ahead and just draw something from here to here, and then we worry about this arc later. This is uh, an arc that has a radius of 10. We can do that last, okay? Um, so basically, we're just going to connect where we end with just now to this location. And if we follow that location out, we can see that it's 87 uh, from the center of the face, the big one. So we're going to go uh, back to um, our drawing. And then we're going to do some tracking here. So first, we're going to go to line. And then we're going to do TK for tracking. We're going to go ahead and put on the circle so that we have the center. We're going to click on that then when you see that remember we have this line the tracking line show up we want it to go down 87 so we did 87 hit enter and then we can go left or right if we want to but we're going to go ahead and stay right there at that location so we're going to hit enter that means now i can draw a line and i'm going to just going to go ahead and connect it to this endpoint here all right hit escape so you have all of that as you want so now what you're going to do is you're going to use the mirror option to mirror it over. So let's do it. Uh, mirror. And it says select objects. We're going to go ahead and select. Because we have a lot of uh, construction lines, so we're just going to select one thing at a time here. That way we don't um, select the other things like uh, construction lines, stuff like that. All right, so we're going to mirror this over. So when we're done with that, hit Enter. We want it to be over this center here. And then we're gonna click on that to snap it in. Right, here it is. Oops, sorry, let's do that again because uh, I hit, uh, I did not save it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's one more up here, seven. We're going to go hit enter, select this point, and select that point, and set no. We want to keep the original. All right, so there's our sh shapes. Look close enough. All right, uh, let's go and get rid of something like this uh, This here. Delete that. We don't need that anymore. Uh, let's uh, keep this here for now. Uh, the ears, we can also get rid of those things outside on the ears. All right, so let's zoom in here uh, and see what we can do now. We can now go ahead and draw this eye and then we're gonna mirror it over. Now the eye is, you can see that this two location is on this uh, circle. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our original circle, the very first one that we create. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create the same circle again. Uh, remember the radius of that one was uh, 56.5. Uh, we want this now to be our construction line, so we're going to change it. Uh, I change the color to uh, a different color. Let's make it red. And I want it to be a center line. All right, so um, hit escape. Let's do that again. All right, so now it's red, and we want it to be... 56.5 all right there we are so let's go and look at the eyes first let's zoom into this location here so this right here if you uh, where is this this right here is from where the seven is right the seven go into that line it's going to be a point there and then we have the 12.5 go into the circle that's another point there so we've got two location there so let's use that um, so the seven is here from here going into the circle there at that location, we're going to have a point. So let's, let's do this first though. So P, uh, PT for point. Um, sorry, let's do that again. Um, so we're going to do a point somewhere here, but let's do some uh, location PT. We need to uh, look for a point first. So let's turn this on. DT, turn this on. We want to select that. Click OK. Now we're going to do a point. OK. 
IPO. I'm going to do it right here. Uh, I'm sorry, right here at the seven. All right. Uh, and then another one we set was at the 12.5. We follow that. That's this line where the 12.5, this one right here. Again, we're going to do a point. So P for point, that one, and it's going to be this one. All right. So we're going to use those location there to draw the eyes. All right. And then the next one that we're going to do is this. This one right here, and we know that it's going to be from the center line to the right there. Uh, this whole thing is 37, so what is half of 37? Um, half of 37 would be uh, 15, 18.5. So that is 18.5, all right? So 18.5 over, and then let's see, it's, it's on what kind of line? Uh, it's on the other end of the 7. All right, from this right here on the top. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take a look. So here's a seven. It's the other end of the seven going in, and from here we have to go to the right. Um, eighteen point. Um, eighteen point three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on line, and then we do T. Okay, for tracking, and then the assets for the first locations, which is going to be on this location here. Click that. We're going to track it to the right, um, 18.5. Hit enter, um, and then we're going to hit enter again. Uh, let me do a tape here. Let's let's do it this way because I have these things um, already here, so I need to get rid of something just to draw the eyes. So. I'm going to go to trim real quick. I'm going to trim this little section um, so that I can draw these uh, things. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do the tracking. So I can do P, T, uh, P for point. And then I'm going to do um, TK for tracking. So I need to know where do I track from. I track from uh, this location here to the right. And how far again? 18.5. That, that location, and then I'm going to select that location. Okay. That is my location that I'm going to use. Um, what is the next location that we need to do is the next location that we're going to use is this one over here. Um, let's see, do we have a measurement for that one? Um, yes, if we do, if we follow this line right here down, that's 18. So half of 18 will be 9. So that's 9 from the center. And then that is on the bottom line, the one that is 50 right here. So that going in, and that is 9 from that location. So let's go and let's zoom in here real quick. So basically what you're going to do is uh, you can do two things. So I can offset this to nine. Let me do that. Take that and offset my units. And we're going to offset this to the right. All right. And then we're looking at this 50 here. This line is the 50 connections. That's going to be right there. So we're going to do uh, point. All right. And then we're just going to go to that location there and click. So we have that. Now all we have to do is just gonna go ahead and connect those locations. I'm gonna change it back to white. And we want it to be continuous. So go to line and start connecting um, this location to that location, to that location. Come on. On that, why don't you let me snap to you too? All right, escape. Now, the reason why this one doesn't give me a, a, a sh thing to show up is I'm going to click on that, I'm going to drag it over. Ooh, ooh, that, that, that's a mistake, it's not even intersecting that. So, I'm just gonna um, keep it standard. This is the one that we earlier trimmed, so um. All right, so let's go ahead and move that back up. So click on move. 
click on this, enter. Move that up to there. Okay, let's get. So now it should be fine. All right, let's go ahead, connect that um, line back up. Whoa. All right, so let's let's go ahead and fix this location here, escape. Let's fix this location. That location, what was that location? That location was uh, on the seven, right? On the seven, the top one of the seven, and that is uh, half of 37, uh, which is 18.5. So let's do that again. So what we can do, now that we have these guys here, we can trim him. And then we can do offset um, 18.5, enter this guy to the right, 18.5. And that location there will be um, where's of seven, the seven is right here. So that right here is a location. So we're going to do point P or point, find the point. And we're going to go ahead and click on, I'm going to double check the seven. There you go, right here, this location. Okay, escape. All right. Click line, and so we can finish that to there. And look like it's the same problem with this one now. It's not showing up for me. So we're going to go back and hit on that to get rid of it. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do this point over here again. Um, so what was it? That was uh, 18, so that means it's going to be 9. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and offset 9. So first, we're going to get rid of this. Take this, offset 9 unit, enter. Take it here, go to the right, 9, enter. The intersection of the, the 50 line, and that will be a point. So we're going to do P for point. We go to that location there, hit that check mark. Now we can go ahead and connect them. And let's go back to that. All right, escape. That will be uh, the eyes that we are looking for. So now let's do uh, PT. Let's hide all this point. Click OK, so oh, that should be gone. All right, let's go and trim some stuff here real quick. Uh, all this stuff, just let's just, uh oh, control Z. Don't want to trim that. Take all of this. Let's trim this. All right. Let's trim everything in the eyes here real quick. Even that. We, we want to see it so we can use it to draw stuff later. But let's uh, let's do this real quick. Mirror. Let's do the mirror option and then let's mirror every single um, segment over uh, on the other side. All right, so hit enter, and now uh, select it. What do we want to mirror about? We want this to mirror about this location. So that the other location, click no. All right, so we got the eyes for um, that guy, Frieza. All right, uh, next, what we can do is let's go into this section here. Let's gonna draw that. So if we look at that section there, that is basically four units from this corner here, right? From this uh, corner of the eyes is four unit more. So we're going to use that as reference. And then uh, there's an angle. So if you follow this down all the way, you see that there's a 54 degree angle. This one, basically, if you keep drawing it this way and extend it this, this way, it's going to give you an angle of 54 for both ways. So what is half of 54? 27, right? So we're going to draw something like that right there. So we're going to go in here. Click on line. At this corner, we're going to just randomly draw a segment down. All right? Then we're going to go ahead and do the move to the right four units. So yeah, what you can do is... Let's see if you can just move it four units to the right. 
move, select object, enter, select base point. It's going to be this one. I'm going to move it to the right four units. Let me put in four. See that works. All right. So it moved to four when I put four in. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim this top part here. Now, the angle that we talked about was uh, 27, right? So half of the 54. So we're going to do rotate. Click on that, hit enter, and we want it to rotate about this location. So we want to keep this location here and everything rotate around that. So that will be a uh, 27 degree. Okay. And as you can see, we are zoom back out to the questions. It's N at the part of this circle, right? So that means we need to trim it. So we're going to go in here. We're going to trim it right there. Voila, we have that. Um, so basically, what we should have done is we should have just wait um, to do the mirror at the end. Right? So we can mirror that one with it as well. But, I mean, if you want to mirror all the things later, you can. All right. So what we're missing right now is the last things here. So let's take a look. All right, so if we are looking at this picture here, um, we need to now draw from here down. Um, and then we have that little section that we're going to go into. So first, before we even draw that, let me go ahead and do this. Uh, remember that we have a little chin right here with the rotation of 10. We're going to go ahead and do that chin uh, by going in here. We're going to do a tangent tangent circle. All right, so we're going to do a tangent here, a tangent there, and the radius of that is 10. So hit that. So we have that there. And we can, that is where the uh, other ends are going to be. So we're going to trim them a bit, but we don't know what to trim really because we don't know where is the end to trim. So we're going to leave that circle there and we're going to move on to draw, to take a look at this one. We have to draw this one. We we know the length of this. The length of this is 25.5. We just don't know the angle of it. Like it now it turn an angle. We don't know what kind of angle this is. So what we can do is this, guys. If you go to line, and let's change the color of it a little bit. Change it to red so we can see. And then I'm going to change the line. Um, let me find something darker. Uh, never mind. We can actually use what we have, and I just have to change the color if I want to. All right, let's let's go back there. We are in line. Um, I'm gonna draw something from here down. Okay, escape, and then I do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw something from here down. Um, some kind of try to guess the angle here because we don't have the measurement for that. So if uh, we are quick. Um, measure this the angle is 43 degree you can see that right so what we're going to do is we're going to go and use that 43 degree um, to draw our pictures all right now notice remind you guys a little bit the measurement here is 25.5 for for this uh, segment here let's go from there down to here right so so in here this at this location i'm going to go ahead and draw I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to draw straight down. And I'm going to do 25.5. Hit enter. Escape. All right. Now I'm going to draw um, MA to mask this to a white color. All right. All right. So that's what I have. What I need now is I need to rotate this. So I'm going to take this, rotate, and select that. Hit enter. And I want it to rotate about that corner. Um, and the rotation angle was 43, so enter, oops, so that is open out, so we're going to do a negative 43, okay, so again, same thing, um, that, hit this, enter, keep that point, so this time do a negative 43, enter, wait, okay, I don't think I did that correctly. Um, 
let's take a look at the angle again. So that angle was 43. So I should have just draw follow the angle there. I I apologize. Um, so let's let's go over again. Draw this from here. We're gonna go back to here. So we're gonna trace it out. So with that we have that green follow line there. The measurement is 25.5. Enter. Escape. And then we're gonna do MA to match the prop. We're gonna match that to the white. Okay. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that information. We're gonna go ahead and rotate. We're gonna rotate this line, enter about that corner. And we did the math earlier, and it's negative 43. Enter. Okay. So that's what it looked like now. So here what we're gonna do is let's take a look we have that angle now what we're we missing what we're missing is this little thing going in to that corner now if we have a measurement here that would be very nice right but we don't have a measurement so we're going to do the same exact thing which is we're going to draw um, something from here up and then we're going to draw again something from here this way and then we're going to go ahead and try to figure that angle out. Do a quick measure. Um, that angle is 20 degrees. All right. So use that same measurement. That's 20 degrees. Let's go into our stuff. All right. So the angle that they have is 20 degrees. So let's think about this. How do we going to draw the part that's going to open up 20 degrees? So from here... I'm going to follow this and open this way 20 degree. Okay. All right, let's go in here. Click on line. I'm going to click on this, follow up here, and then come down so that we have that green trait, trait line showing up. So let's do that again. Um, okay. Let's go all the way to the end. Come on. Okay, let's try that again. Line right there. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to draw out. There you go. And we don't know the length, just randomly draw something there. Okay. Take that. I'm going to rotate this now. So rotate this, enter going to rotate 20 degree um, and they ask for this location what location you want to rotate this one I'm going to rotate that that way I'm going to put in let me do 20 degree to see what it's going to do 20 degree we're going to open this way so let's do a negative 20 degree okay rotate this enter that location and then the measurement is negative to zero Okay, there we are looking at that, and then we can go and trim it. Escape, and then MA to match the prop. White first, red later. Boom. And then we can go in here and we can trim uh, this guy's right here. All right, so now it looks like we have the mouth of Frieza there. Okay. So let me see. This section they kind of keep that there. So I'm gonna also uh, gonna keep these things here as well. Or you can just delete that. All right. What you have now is everything that you need. Let's go and trim um, out the part that you don't need anymore. Click on this and delete that whole thing. All right. We don't need this anymore. If we don't really need it. I don't think we do. All right. And then I can even, let me do trim, I guess. Let's trim this little section so that we still have that break line at the bottom. 
and see things, okay? Escape, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror this. So click on mirror and select all the things that we wanna mirror over. Right. Now hit enter. Let me over to this location and that location. And no, I don't want to delete. So there you go. Um, that is Frieza from the pictures and Frieza from here. Okay. Just take out some dimension and you'll be done. Enjoy. Have fun. And again, thank you for doing it.